Okay, so welcome back everyone. I'm going to talk today about how I've gone about fitting the Ermax under tray to my Daytona 650 motorcycle. Okay, so let's start with the standard setup. Um, so this is the rear subframe for a Daytona 600 or 650. So you've got aluminium frame and then you've got this plastic insert which has got a few fixings on the uh, terminals for various parts of the loom um, it's got the battery tray um, and it's got a little storage space under the pillion seat um, this section uh, contains oh well sc screws onto the bolts onto the back of the bike um, there you can see that's where it is on the bike different example it also contains this plastic under tray and um, the under tray is one single piece so what you'd see underneath the bike is basically this entire plastic piece and you've got this rather ugly looking tail tidy um, which is the standard from factory setter so there's my plate indicators bolt on and the rear light fits through the, the gap there in the plastic so this is attached to the subframe by two bolts here and then you've got two bolts down there you can see the side um, and then yeah indicators are attached on the outside you see the bolt goes through from the indicator okay so that's standard so I I did have my bike standard looking but I decided to make it more of a track bike so let's come around to the front obviously we've got track front fairing so I didn't really want all of the number plate and gubbins and all of that stuff on there so i decided to fit a second tail section which i'm going to uh, in include basically the ermax under tray uh, which is actually a road version because it's got the hole for the light and then i've got an aftermarket um, rear fairing so what i've had to do uh, i've got two obviously i've got standard there um, this is going to be the aftermarket one. I've taken the fairing off. And let's just remove this so you can see what we're looking at. So fairing comes off. And you can see that rather than the under tray being the bit of the bike that's visible from the road, um, like standard, what's going to be the bottom section of the bike is actually this under tray. So it gives the bike more of a clean, sporty look. Now you need to find a way to attach this and make it compatible with the standard setup, which is that. And unfortunately there's no easy way to do it because the fairing, um, bear in mind this is an aftermarket fairing, so it's not quite as tight or as neat as a genuine one, but those tabs on the fairing would line up with those holes. You just put that section over that section and screw in some little horseshoe clips with standard Allen bolts and you'd have your under tray uh, or your complete assembly fitted. In the case of the Ermax, you can't attach this to that. So what you have to do instead is cut this very neatly, basically along here to remove the entire rear section. Um, it's also been cut down the sides in order to remove the uh, sort of flared part where the the under tray fits um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to bolt the uh, rear cowl so this piece of fairing is going to go on here and then the under the Ermax tray will actually attach directly to those tabs so what I will do I'll put this fairing over the fairing will be attached there via bolts so let's just put one in, just for demonstration purposes. That'll just hold it in place. And then I'll use six, six of these. And I'll put these little horseshoe tabs over the uh, uh, fairing clips like so. And then what I'm gonna do is match up the Ermax under tray. so that this basically um, sits in there. Now what you'll find is, you just need to move that pillion lock, so it's out of the way. 
what you'll find is that it's actually very very difficult to get this to line up with the tabs because this under tray is standard actually has a f like flanges out here let's say a piece there and then you've got a little gap for where the tab and then another protruding piece another protruding piece so what i did is take a uh, multi-tool and just trim this all the way along trim it all the way along there and then that allows you just to just to line this up um, with the tabs and if you notice I've kept the, the sort of flange part for the tail so I can slide it in at the top like so and then uh, with a bit of jiggling this these tabs will line up you see that one's lined up just that one's lined up then I screw in um, and then the under tray is held on by a total of six bolts uh, which is, and also is, is kept in at the back because it tucks in under the fairing. So that's how I've gone about and fitting it. But yeah, there's no there's no easy way to do it. Um, and this is a track bike, so it doesn't really matter if this is a bit messy. But if I was doing this on a road bike, I'd probably spend a lot longer um, lining that up, making sure it's almost perfectly smooth. Probably sand it down a little bit, uh, but get that to fit. So for my purposes. This will go on, I'll, I'll put a, a rear light in, um, and then I'll end up with uh, a track bike without the, the whole assembly for the number plate and the indicators and so on. If I wanna return back to standard, uh, then I'm just gonna swap the subframes over. But if you have an original bike, uh, remember the Daytona's are 15 years old now at, at, the, at the minimum, you're gonna to have to hack into the plastic to get it to fit. So, choice is kind of yours whether you go ahead and do that. It doesn't really matter for me because it's a track bike, but as they get rarer, as the years go on, you may be less inclined to do that. So yeah, short, short story is that you're gonna to have to cut the plastic um, and then you're gonna to have to bolt the Ermax tray, which is there, onto the fairing itself. And I'll just cut, I'll just, sorry, I'll just take this away once more so you guys can see what you need to do. Let's get that out. You can see the cuts. So, um, standard. Just as it starts to slope down there. See there's the line there? Just as that go, sort of comes over that ridge. We've cut. Maybe you see this se section here? We've cut almost the back off. And because you then lose everything here, you also lose the part of the under tray that bolts into that, that, that holds this on. I've just added cable ties. Again, track bike, so it doesn't really matter. But if you would, I don't know whether you'd be happy doing that on a road bike. And then this is cut along here as well. So I hope that helps uh, guys who are trying to fit the Ermax under tray, at least to the Daytona. It's, it's not that straightforward. You have to do some hacking. All right, I hope that was useful. See you later, team.